Yes, madam. This is uh, related to resettlement and rehabilitation of uh, Sardar Sarovar Austis. After 38 years of struggle, I have to again come back to this court. And it's a public interest litigation because it is a question uh, related to thousands of families. Still, uh, they, after so many years, they have not been rehabilitated. I mean, much has happened and much has not yet happened. <laughs> because much, much in spite of flowed. all the authorities, uh. the Narmada Water Dispute Tribunal Award, the state level liberalized policy, the somewhat liberalized, which the uh, judgment in our case of 2000, I'll give you uh, a few pages, relevant pages of the judgment. And uh, uh, the may, please, please, uh, last point judgment. Point out from your uh, memo of petition where you have pleaded which relief has not been granted. Yes, it is the. In which para you have pleaded? The civic amenities at the rehabilitation sites. That is a the part of policy. Pardon? It's a part of policy. It's a part of the Narmada Tribunal Award. Where which is, is uh, uh, which is my lord uh, a law a decree nothing less than that and uh, these are the two judgments i would give uh, selected pages of the two judgments well, please read from the recommendation of gra dated 28 11 17 in respect of civil amenities and all this thing. yes right right i will जहां तक विस्थापित कृषकों को विस्थापन स्थल पर मूलभूत सुविधा प्रदान करने का प्रश्न है आयुक्त नर्मदा घाटी विकास प्राधिकरण को निर्देशित किया जाता है कि सभी पुनर्वास स्थल पर सक्षम अधिकारी द्वारा निरीक्षण करवाया जाकर मूलभूत सुविधाओं में से जो भी कमी हो दो माह के अवधि में इसकी पूर्ति करवाई जाकर पालन प्रतिवेदन इस प्राधिकरण के समक्ष प्रस्तुत करे अभी करोड़ों रुपयों का काम यह दो महीने में तो होना संभव नहीं था उसके ऊपर फिर जस्ट uh, उसके बाद का ही आप uh, देखेंगे लॉर्डशिप पी एट वी रोड टू द जी आर ए एंड वी ऑल्सो हैड टू हैव अट इन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द जी आर एफिस पास दिस ऑर्डर ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट लेवल on now, your uh, representation now government has again appointed a gra to yes. look into the grievance but your not uh, the work is not a short uh, time in work petition you have uh, not declared that you have an alternate remedy and uh, yes the details of remedy the alternative remedy, remedy is we want compliance this gra is for you or not for others <laughs> so why why but it, gra is let, not let existing GRA function, we don't want to and no, your lordship, there has to be a technical inquiry also because if we they... are here to examine their award, let them pass an award, but then we will consider. But GRA is not functioning, your lordship. No, not it will, it will so, function now, appointment has been done. No, so out of five, to... only two and those it's two have not of... accepted according to our information. Your lordship, I will give you some photographs which are colored. And we will uh, dispose of uh, with direction to GRA to... Function. But with within, within the time limits, you know, if they had given time limits, and if you see the yeah, report, like that, till not done. Grahan करने के दिनान से एक बार there was a full fledged, no, you know, if there was full fledged seven years long inquiry, which was under Commission of Inquiries Act according to the NBDA, but in fact the High Court had appointed it, and no action has been taken. Irrespective of the inquiry, thorough, detailed inquiry done by the Manit Molana Azad Institute and IIT Mumbai, to yes. which Justice Retired Justice Zah Commission had given the task as outsourced, because it was a fully technical report. And if there is, uh, you know, annexed part of those that report, which is P4, uh, if I am permitted, I can yes. read some of the paragraphs. But you would be shocked to so that, read that, the summary of the conclusions. That, that was in 2014. So it is not the job we can, which can easily be taken up by GRA, your lordship. So there has to be a full-fledged inquiry with the technical experts and involvement of the resettled uh, families, uh, you know, representatives. And there has to also be a time-bound, uh, you know, action plan. 
which needs to be monitored by this honorable court otherwise year and year has passed and today when they are at 5 kilometers away from the narmada they have no water in many places tankers are also not reaching so on and so forth and the schools are not there are no health centers there is a special mention in the 2000 this thing that health centers must be run in everything the bhavans are built but there is no doctor there is no nurse once a while they visit for vaccination or something and that's all so it is so shocking that after having spent crores of rupees article 21 is violated and there is no one to monitor this there are no rehabilitation officers in place now all the task is given to sdms